damn, your voice sounds sexy. You, you sexy man, this, you. This, this, this. You're sexy and this, you got this, a nice this, butt. This, Yo. This, 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 this. One ever beat on the radio. Okay, no way, no way, no way. Start now. Episode 58 is here. Mm. It feels so much better because we waited two weeks to give you this. Yeah, the build up. We let it build up. I did not think what happened was going to happen. We took one week off, and I realized that is the first week that I took off of this podcast in 52 weeks. Wowzers. Yeah. It was the anniversary of the first one we ever did, me and Jillian. So after- why not just walk away from it? Yeah. Well, that's for the thing. one week. Most people celebrate. <laughs> You do it your way. You just walked away from it. For you were one out week. of town. Listen, Joe went out of town. My wife's exact quote was, I don't feel like doing it, which is a common theme in our marriage, which is a different discussion for a different time. So she didn't feel like doing it. And I was like, wait, what are we talking about here? What we, we've been married 16 years. I've heard this before. What, right. which, which, which it are we talking about right, right. now? Because there's a few on this list. And I'm just, I just want to be on the same page. Just here, I'm gonna hand you the list. You cross out which ones apply. <laughs> it's kind of like when you go to the uh, the car dealership. You're like, I would write down a number, but in this case, it's a it's an activity, right? And you slide it across the table, <laughs> and then you cross your fingers and wait. Yeah, wait for the response. And, uh, and your first offer is you shoot for the stars. <laughs> So, like, your first <laughs> offer is, like, anything you've yeah, ever yeah, wanted yeah. to do. Just say yes. And then she counters. Anything. And then she counters. Right. It's like Cirque du Soleil. And it's all anything. the air. Yeah. All the air comes out of the balloon <laughs> after she counters that first offer. And then you're like, usually when it comes to a counter offer and then the first offer, usually it's somewhere in the middle. You don't just shoot. Like, I don't shoot for the moon. And then you just shut it down completely. <laughs> right. Right. And say you're going to bed and put on those terrible sweats that you have. Yeah. Although, yeah, last time wasn't the sweats; it was the yoga pants. That's true. Last time, but she's not here today, so she's out of town. So she was. She said, "I don't really feel like doing it." But either way, people lost their minds, and I'll tell you what. Right now, thank you, thank you to the people out there that were very concerned that we were stopping this podcast. We are not stopping this podcast. Joe went out of town for the week. I've had many different guest hosts, but I found that they're most funny with you on them. Oh, that's thank no, you. that's thank no you. disrespect to anybody else. I will still have other people Except on. Except that barista. <laughs> Screw no, her. No, she's a she's a great girl. She's awesome. You're like, hey, knock it off, because yeah. I get half off at Big B. <laughs> <laughs> she gives me an extra frappe at Big B. So shut your mouth. Shut up, dude. Seriously. <laughs> she gives me extra foam for free. So I'm at Speedway the other day, and someone comes up to me and says, tonight's the night. You, I can't wait for you guys to post tonight. And then he chest bumped you? And I turn around, and I go, we don't have one for tonight. This was last Wednesday. And he goes, what do, you, what do you mean? He goes, you put them out every week. What do you mean you don't have one for tonight? I'm like, well, Joe's out of town. He goes, oh, what am I supposed to listen to? I go, well, we have 57 episodes. You're like, like Billy Joel has a few albums <laughs> out. <laughs> One of them. I'm like, have you ever heard sports You're by right. Huey Lewis in the news? Right. Have you ever seen uh, Mystery <laughs> Men with Ben Stiller? Why don't you pop that in the old DVD player? Have you ever seen player? Hot Rod starring Andy Samberg? Val Kilmer. <laughs> Te- Te- I could be wrong. Yeah. I think it's starring Val yeah, Kilmer. Yeah, technically that is right. So yeah, so, so today I posted that we were going to be uh, recording this tonight, and two people wrote back that was pretty funny. Um, so... One of the things that somebody said, hang on, I have to pull it up here on Twitter, at Cal Cagno Radio, you can find us there. Someone said um, that they definitely missed it last week, so they're very excited to hear this week's. Um, Jillian retweeted it, oh. and she uh, I saw her the other day. She would like to come on with us, so everybody asking us to have Jillian on, it'll be me, Jillian, and Joe hopefully next week. But oh, okay, This cool. week, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do just the two of us. And then this is the funniest thing that someone said. Um, someone said they're going to hit up Renshaw's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this says this comes to us from Nina. Hallelujah. I was ready to hit up Renshaw's tomorrow because I'm going through uh, Cagno and Joe withdrawal. I hope you're stocked the fridge with lots of Coors Light. So there's that. <laughs> uh, also, um, this yeah, guy- but, Hey, but here's the thing. I went clean and sober. I know. I was going to get to that in I second. went clean and sober. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll be at Renshaw's tomorrow because I'm still going to get some boneless wings. <laughs> and you're going to be drinking sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be drinking a, Which the, a, 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 no duels. Yeah, but, it, it's yeah. funny because the scientists say that you can't do three quarters cup of water to half a cup of, uh, sorry, 
three cups of sugar to one cup of water, but hey, sweet tea says nay. <laughs> They're like, if you heat it up hot enough, we can make as much hey, sugar in there. Absolutely. Have you ever had sweet tea? Absolutely. Heck yeah. When it's, we used to be on tour, I used to love going down south. And then you got really fat. And then you were like, why am I getting so fat? Well, How could a glass of tea have 6,000 calories? Well, here's the deal, because you're thinking it's sugar. Yeah. It's Cairo syrup, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they just you just put water, tea, and boil it till it's lava hot, and add a bunch of yeah of uh, corn caro sir- syrup, cor- corn syrup, and uh, cane sugar. All right, so now Randy Trumbolesjikwick. Uh-huh. How would you say that name, Randy? I, I can't even see it. Okay, Randy now. T. His okay. last name is long, and he's been a fan of this show for a long time. So thank you, Randy, for this one. He said, "Why, when I was talking to my daughter today, did I say 'cause it's stupid' in the <laughs> Joe and Cal voice?" <laughs> Cause it's stupid. Cause it's stupid. <laughs> stupid idiot. <laughs> I just like how anybody who listens to this now realizes what a creep I am. That if I see someone on HGTV <laughs> or meet them on the street, yeah. I will try to find them to yeah. tell them how stupid they right. are. Well, or at least that's I, what you got to tell your wife. Yeah, well, I don't actually don't. Oh, I, gosh, I don't communi- so stupid. I don't communicate with her. That's look, the thing. Look at how tan her <laughs> neck is. I better look her up on Facebook and see what other stupid stuff she's been a part of. I hate her. So we were off last week. I felt totally vindicated in the fact that people cared to hear another episode. So we've got it for you this week. Um, I, I was even shocked because I I was up north all last week. So I was waiting for to get my little notification to see who you had on. Oh, you didn't and realize I was taking a week off? No. Oh, and then okay. all of a sudden, nothing. So just before I came out here, I was playing Xbox. And... Uh, the the gentleman that you were talking about with the last oh the guy on the east side yeah with yeah that, where you were playing Fortnite you thought you were playing with him but he was <laughs> you know playing something else he I was like hey bro you ready to strap it on we're gonna play a little Fortnite yeah, together I think his name is like Subliminal Criminal or something like you know that what I never like we never got is. actual names although yeah. he knew mine because I of course came out with it like yeah. I was like yeah. hey it's Cal Cagno here's where I live <laughs> yeah is this how the internet works so I just tell people where I live <laughs> right and you could just look it up and. Go through my IP address. <laughs> but so he hit me up and was like chit chat and was like, oh, tell Cal, you know, it, it wasn't a big deal. Like he shouldn't feel stupid oh, good. or anything like that. Yeah. So we were talking and then he was the one who said, yeah, I missed last week. You guys not having a show. Oh, that's awesome. So I went a full week without even knowing that you didn't do another <laughs> show. And then about 40 minutes ago, he enlightened me and was like, yeah, there was no show. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, yeah. I've just been busy. And then on my way out, my mom calls me. <laughs> and she calls me about so, you know something, a question the that mom, she was asking. Mom, yeah, seven questions mom yeah. had. Or to tell you someone died. Yeah. And so then uh, she was like, so, do, you, do you have a second? Sounds like you're in your car. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm actually pulling in Cal's driveway. She was like, oh, good, because I missed last week's episode. And, you know, all, so I'm like, yeah, we're still doing She was like, oh, I thought you guys were done. No, 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 no. Like, we are, no, ab- we're we are not absolutely done. not done. We're just, yeah. we just, last week he was out of town. And I was the- up in God's country. Yeah. So how was that going out of town for spring break? Because I'll tell you what right now, I'm having legit guilt that I didn't take my kids anywhere for spring break. Well, here's the deal. My kids went to Florida with their oh, mother. No. So they were in 80 some degree weather, went to Disney. I still think we trumped them. I went, I took them to Hawaii. Yeah, that's so true. I think that's better. And you let them see Miranda Sings, which I want to get right. to in a second. So, but anyway, they went to to Florida and had a great time with their mom. Smiles. I saw all the pictures and they had a really good time. They seemed to have a really good time with their mother. <laughs> right. God, they looked happy. <laughs> right. Just straight through your teeth. So, I thought well, I'll take a few days off and I'll go up north to my dad's place. My dad had a nice big house built on a lake and then right across the street, my sister owns a cottage and then we have friends that have some cottages down from them. And so it's like a nice big area and it's amazing to go up there. And it was 35 degrees. Yep. And so we got up there and it was it was probably 28 degrees when we got up there. And then on Tuesday of last week, Traverse City had... They were supposed to have 10 to 14 inches of snow. <laughs> so my, break. my girlfriend and I were going to go up to Traverse City and spend the day in Traverse City. Do some cross-country <laughs> snowshoeing. Yeah, and, and so when that happened, we were like, well, we're not going to drive through that. So we went to Grand Rapids. Had a great time in Grand Rapids. I've really never hung out there. My band has played there before, but never really got to hang out. So we went to Grand Rapids for the day. Had an amazing time. 
if you go to Grand Rapids frequently or you you don't, you need to go there for there's this place called the Downtown Market. And it is amazing. It's I don't Fresh even want to fruit describe. and veggies. I don't even want to it's 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 like a <laughs> You know your twenty year old self right. would kick your ass right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That no. you were like, if you go to Grand Rapids, don't go to Beer City and go to someplace right. cool. Go right. to the market, it's great. Fresh green. Right. Don't go to Applebee's. <laughs> go go to where they have turnip greens and <laughs> rutabaggy. But if you've never had a free range chicken sandwich if you, with if, with mustard greens on it, you ain't living. Right. How many grains? Nine grains. <laughs> with a poached egg on top. <laughs> Everything was with a poached egg. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Grand Rapids is hipster central. So oh my you, god. If you, you don't like me? hipsters, don't go there because it it's nothing, like the highs. Yeah, it's nothing but hipsters. Every single dude, leather shoes, short jeans, <laughs> flannel, beards. Glasses, cabbie hats, lumber sexual. They with, call that lumber sexual. Yeah, with like a baby Bjorn, with the baby. Yep. You know, with their child in it, because you know the man's lugging it around. Then, like the old lady, or you know the the wife. You know, I'm sure we'll get twitters and emails now. <laughs> Who can't believe it's that old lady? <coughs> so then, like the wives, they all have like the short hair. Yep. With like the Rosie the Riveter like bandana on. Yes. And then they're all tatted up, like neck tats, throat tats, arm tats, you know, wearing like black shirts. They black almost pants. look like the California, the people from California 20 years ago. Yeah. Where they're like, oh my God, they must be into rancid. Right. No, no they might they, must be into the necromantics. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, or, or you know, some sort of uh, uh, psychobilly. Right. Like that's what they look like, psychobilly girls or or um roller derby girls. Right. And so they all look like that. So it's these dudes and then the chicks and and, and they're walking around the market with their baby Bjorn. Yep. And they're, you but know. But the market was like amazing. Again, it's and they the downtown market. And they wouldn't drink Starbucks because that's too cliche. Like right. they only do pour overs from some place you've never heard right. of. Right. The, the beans had to be roasted in the dumpster in the alley <laughs> behind the. Those beans right now yeah. were crapped out by some monkey in Guatemala. Right, right. Well, we didn't have a monkey, so we just fed him to Tyler's <laughs> cat. And then we sifted through the kitty litter, pulled the beans out. <laughs> you can really taste the nutmeg. <laughs> It's you a can, nutty. It's you a can nutty really taste. taste the ammonia from the, the litter, <laughs> but it helps draw out the caffeine. I don't even know if I could taste anything else again because I only drink ammonia lace. <laughs> ammonia lace. Kitty's be- pride. <laughs> Kitty's pride. <laughs> My coffee. friend Barry does it. He it's does amazing. It. He used to brew his own beer, but that's too cliche. Now he roasts his own beans. But even the roasting fire, <laughs> he uses old transformer parts from old transformers he, old he tires. melts those down he goes to locally sourced <laughs> tire shops tire and bur- shops it burns his own tires yes because i'll tell you what if he doesn't burn those they're just gonna end up in the landfill and then his girlfriend makes and that's purses unhealthy. out of it <laughs> right. she makes purses out of old used tires yeah radials and, and all the trimmings stuff. they burn and then they smoke <laughs> the coffee and it is delicious and you can get it at the downtown market in it's Grand Rapids, right across from the Moose Jaw. <laughs> it's twelve dollars a cup, right. and it's a pour over. But it is great, so people have to go there. Don't I ask for dark would... roast because you're a stupid ass <laughs> if you do. I went to this place that shall remain nameless in Rochester that they brew their own or they roast their own coffee, and I said, "Can I have a dark roast?" And he was like, "We don't burn our beans like Starbucks. We only go medium roast." And I was like, "Can I have a medium roast?" Like, okay, <laughs> right. Dude, like, like on, you gotta brother. what make me feel bad that I asked for a dark roast? I prefer my coffee dark. What do right. you say? He's probably like you. Also, probably like Bon Jovi and <laughs> you, Nickelback. You, right? You, you probably like Nickelback oh, too. Man, why don't you just go to go to Oliver? Why, why don't you ass? Why don't you look at my phone for thirty <laughs> seconds and if you recognize <laughs> one band, get back to me. I bet you like the Killers. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and listen to They Will Know Us by Our Trail of Dead <laughs> while you try and figure out the next cup of coffee you're going to have. And don't even ask for cream, dumbass. Stupid. <laughs> like we would have cream. <laughs> we have goat milk. We use feta cheese and it melts in there. Stupid. You're so stupid. We use baby <laughs> seal milk because it's environmentally friendly. But you wouldn't know that, would you, <laughs> narc? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing narc. 
I knew you were a narc right away when you came in here smelling like Hugo <laughs> Boss. <laughs> Wearing Adidas. <laughs> hey, nice lucky brand jeans. <laughs> Turd. Did you get those from the vintage store or are those brand new? Mm, I bet you got those from Kohl's. <laughs> nice Hanes t-shirt. Again, Kohl's. <laughs> I'm looking at that whole outfit and it's saying TJ Maxx and Kohl's. Why don't you try boutique shopping, you piece of trash? Yeah, listen, I was born in 1992. <laughs> Where were you in 1992? Oh, you were a senior in college then? I'm like, just standing there. Just You're like, no, I was a freshman in high school. I'm like, I just want a dark road. <laughs> right. Should I? Freaking- do you know? <laughs> do you know if Big B next door has dark roads? Because I, I know, really, hey, because I know the barista there. She was on my podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. Like I don't, I don't want to. Uh, I don't, ma'am, <laughs> sir, whatever you are. I don't remember what we made I, this person. The I don't want to. I don't want to wage war on you here. About <laughs> NAFTA. <laughs> And free trade coffee and all I that. I get it, man. Let's keep it fair. Yeah. I mean, bur- burrows need homes, too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I love that you give us a word-by-word detail about the farmer that picked these, yeah. but like, can I just get a freaking cup of coffee? I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just get tea from 7-Eleven. Because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you.